Hey guys, uh, this is uh, just a quick tutorial to answer one of the questions uh, from the subscribers here. They wanted to know how to make a uh, track uh, in, uh, in 3ds Max and uh, texture it. I'm going to show you a quick way. Uh, go create a circle here. Uh, enable it in uh, render, enable it in viewport. Change it to a rectangular view, uh, mode. Make sure that generate map and coordinate is uh, checked. Uh, let's up our uh, interpolation steps to 32 to change the length. Just to make it look like uh, a road. That's good enough. I'm going to convert it to an edge spline now. Select a couple of vertices and uh, start moving vertices up and down or uh, whatever you like. Try to match them to the track that you want to do. Not sure what I'm going for, so I'm just uh, moving vertices here and there to give it a more interesting uh, shape. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be a, just a straight line or a line going around. The good thing about uh, using this is uh, method if you have like a uh, texture, the texture is going to uh, map really nice around uh, the spline. So you can get uh, just a tight texture and you can uh, tie it around the whole thing. I'm going to just convert it into poly, select the top edges. Uh, I'm going to have that invert the selection and delete the bottom ones. Now I'm going to apply uh, just a quick material here. It's a standard material. Now apply map. It was just a quick uh, texture that I put together in Photoshop. And you can find this uh, raw textures from uh, the cgtexture.com website. And I just show it to you here. You go to this website here, make sure you log in so you can download the uh, high res version if it's available and uh, if you see all these raw textures so you can just uh, log in and pick uh, the one you want and uh, go to photoshop and put a couple of uh, other pictures on top of each other to make your own simple and I'm gonna apply it here and turn it uh, make sure it's uh, showing viewport I'm gonna uh, play with the parameter for the map very quick to make it uh, tileable, uh, tile, uh, tile on uh, our road. Uh, say 20, I'm uh, not sure, that's 50. Yep. Now let's uh, try to tie it into the other side. Let me get close here so you can see what I'm doing. 3.5. Uh, while you do that, make sure you change the, the offset so you can uh, match your uh, map better. 3.8. Almost there. Okay. Maybe 3.9. Set it again. Maybe that should do. No, not yet. 3.95. I think. I think this should do right there. This is good enough. Now I'm gonna try to uh, uh, model the side, uh, the side uh, part from the road very quick. I'm gonna try to get the shift. Uh, swift loop here from the graphite toolbar. Uh, let me try to uh, put a couple of loops. Mm, nope. For some reason it's not picking it up. So I'm going to just uh, give up on this and go back to the regular connect. I'm going to select the edges in the middle. Select one and Alt R. You can select uh, the ring of edges. Click connect. And it too, and make uh, one thing in to make sure that uh, you, you, unche you check pre uh, you check pre uh, preserve UVs on your model. So 
so it won't be distorted when you're doing these changes I need the, just two I'm going to just move them match them to the side rows I think yeah that should be okay now I need to uh, extrude the, this top two here select one of them and alt R now to deselect the ones that you don't want uh, shift plus E that's going to give you the extrude mode there you go awesome now we're going to go back to the edge mode I'm going to select uh, the side edges here and I'm going to alt plus L go to the loop now control shift C will get you to the chamfer mode so let me uh, try to get it I need to go back to the, the one in the quad menu so we can change the segments here that's one, two, three, yeah that's good enough and this is it guys, yeah, that's how we make uh, like a road uh, in 3ds max very quick it didn't take that long at all to make it it's easy, now I'm going to show you how you can uh, extract your uh, other, the line to use it as a track it's either you can use this method or, or uh, like just make a copy of your first line before you apply the digital poly to it I'm gonna select those edges, I'm gonna select the ring so I'm gonna connect them back again to so grab one edge and I'm gonna detach it, not detach it, I'm gonna go to create shape in the edge uh, and the, under the edge uh, menus mm -hmm. and it seems like it created uh, another road so I'm gonna just uh, and, uh, freeze, uh, freeze the one that we, uh, we want to stay without changes I'm gonna select the other one freeze selection, okay I'm gonna select this one Okay, just what is it? Oh, there you go. I think that's the one. The problem is it still has uh, the render uh, in viewport and you know render on it, so I need to turn those off. Okay, now you got your uh, the line that you can use it as uh, to animate your car or whatever on the on the path. So I'm gonna just raise it a little bit. I'm gonna just create a box, let's say this is our car and I'm gonna go to animation constraint, path constraint that's that and uh, under the motion panel you go to make sure that you are in position I need to click follow and maybe bang and just click play and see what you get simple is it it's very simple to use so hope you guys uh, like this hope you learned uh, something new I always try to use shapes as much as I could because they really uh, simplify your workflow a lot uh, and the matter of fact that they come uh, with the generated uh, um, UV maps on them that helps a lot tremendous tremendous amount of work so you guys, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, this and uh, learned something from it. Make sure to uh, comment, like it, share it as usual. And if you guys have any uh, issues or, uh, or something that you want me to do for you guys or show you how it's done, make sure just to post a comment down because I cannot read your mind. So if you get something uh, you want it to be done and you don't know how, post a comment. Thank you.